Okay, um, I'm heating up my soldering iron. I think it's pretty, pretty warm, I'm not sure. So what we're going to do, and the reason we use the soldering iron, is it doesn't leave debris. Um, we're going to melt a hole uh, on this sticker here. Um, it'll be big enough to fit the nozzle for the toner refill in it. And it just uh, so happens that soldering irons work well to melt holes. So let me see here. I'll probably go right to the side here, I suppose. Yep, it's melting good. So we've melted a hole. Now if you buy a toner refurbish kit dealy, what they're going to do is they're going to give you a plug to put here and a special soldering iron that has the right size hole and all of that. But um, I, I thought that was a waste. I just used hot glue and we'll get to that later. Now when you clean this edge up, be especially careful to not get anything in the cartridge because if you get any little debris in there you're gonna have streaks all over the place. Ooh, I just burned myself on the soldering iron. Also be careful the soldering iron. Um, this is pretty well dried up and all the the big things that could have been a problem I've, I've pulled away. So let me do a test fit here and um, can maybe make it a hair bigger. Just gonna try and trying to lift out stuff as opposed to uh, pressing it in. To the cartridge. Do another quick test fit. Oh, we're pretty good there. You clean up these little strings here that got made, little hairs. And um, there is our fill port we just made. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to reassemble the cartridge.